And so he's able to do that, and he will do that tonight. Dom's got plenty of fans here as well. We know the crowd's going to be chanting Norm all night long, but uh, Dom is one of the best. Sean Ryan, why he chose to go straight and not hook it, he said he didn't like the middle part of the lane. Duke's first shot. Matching strikes. And Rob, what we're going to have to watch for is because both players are playing almost identical lines. Yes, he did. Unlike our good friend Andres Gomez, who I think has about three to five signatures somewhere <laughs> all over the board. Stand up triple for Dom. Yeah, that's pretty straight there. Eight to six and back. Not a lot of head belly. on the strike train. Yeah, he's got a great line to the pocket and a lot of hand. 0 for 2 for strikes on this left lane. Sorts it out. Finally. You can hear the crowd. Creepy. That's Norm looking at creepy. <laughs> Norm's giving Norm the, the stink eye over there. There you go. The four pin goes down that time for Dom. Look for Dom to make a move left now. Last three shots have all drifted a little heavy. Storman gets another. Tightening things up. That's three in a row. Again, that open frame in the second. That little bugaboo to this game for him. Come on, make a mark. Three and a quarter. Messenger kicks it down for a ham bone. You betcha. <laughs> How about that messenger for the 55-year-old? Oh, well, that makes Tom Barrett have to mark in the 10th. He's going to try a different ball here and look at something else for game two, but check out this messenger, Norm. At the head pin doing a sliding oh, tackle yeah. on the 10. Sure was. What a finish here for Norm. Four straight. Five strikes in his last six throws. Yeah, well, he takes the lead. He tried a different ball on his fill shot just to get a little different picture. We'll see which ball he decides to go with in game two. A couple of minutes. Dom Baird did take one. Oh, boy. That wasn't even fair. And it looks like Dom indeed has moved a little left. He's going to take game one. One of two. Pretty impressive performance, oh, by the way, from Dom Barrett here. Three nines spares. Everything else has been a strike until that moment. Nothing but strikes except for one spare in game one on that right lane and another strike there for Norm. Nothing but strikes so far here in game two. He doesn't have that power anymore, but I'll tell you what, he sure does have the savvy. He's got the smarts, he's got the experience. The dual pattern situations on both of his wins. Front five looking to tie this up. He guaranteed a two frame roll off. Oh, Messenger! <laughs> Save that one.
all tied up here in tonight's opening match, so it's time for a roll-off between Barrett and Duke. Ring that bell. Dom up first on the left. Yeah. Money ball! Yeah, that was beautiful. Got the 10 pin out. Boy, that looked pretty good, too. But not the 4-7. Good shot, good shot. All right, move back to the right on this line. In game two, and now here in the playoffs, suddenly Norm with his back against the wall. Yeah, he liked that one. Sure did. Oh, no, left the 10. Well, like I said, if he can get the corner pin out. Last game was one strike on the right lane. And it came in the first frame. First frame. Look at this. We're going, we could possibly have another roll-up. Now, he has to convert the two, excuse me, he has to convert the two four. And then strike. And then strike. All right. A strike or Dom is done. Looks good. Messenger, the love tap. <laughs> we got bonus bowling. Mm. That's a fortunate nine, to be honest with you. It really is. Now, Dom Barrett has to follow him on that left lane. If Dom strikes, match or do better. Needs a strike for the win. Barrett moves on! Wow. That was fortunate, sir. How good was that? How good of a match was that? It was a great match. And it's an upset.